Hello everybody. I'm Roger. I'm the owner of HoraceHolsters.com. Turn me around here. Uh, I do look better in real person, I think. So does the wife. But anyway, I thought I would just do a quick video on what I make. And I make holsters, as you can see. Uh, a lot of different kinds. Everything is handmade, hand sewn. There's only one thing I use that's not by hand, and that is a Dremel tool. So it is pretty much handmade. There are quite a few different holsters and designs that I do make. Uh, you can check them all out on my website but these are just a few uh, that I had people uh, want me to make. I make, uh, let's see, kind of some hybrid holsters, uh, a little competition holster that I made, cross draw holsters, SOB holsters, that would be small at the back, a uh, quick little design for uh, a bedside holster. See inside the waistband holsters, belt holsters. Pretty much whatever you like, I can make. Uh, this is one I'm just making for someone now. It's uh, and inside the waistband holster. All the black is dyed with a vinegar ruin solution that is made with pretty much soaking uh, scrubby pads, the little metal scrubby dish pads in vinegar over time and they'll rust and you can actually dye your leather with that and turn it a very nice black. So I try to use natural dyes if possible, but uh, most of my stuff I do use from Tandy's just because they're local and I like giving local companies my business. Uh, I do have just a few blue guns. Those are what I uh, mold the holsters out of if I don't actually have the firearm to mold it, which I order uh, offline from blueguns.com. I do make specialty holsters if somebody's interested in something that I don't have and they have an idea I pretty much come up with basically a one-off or uh, something that nobody else would have and that's pretty much is a uh, a holster they wanted to carry low on their thigh but also carry an extra clip so it uh, worked out pretty good uh, also this guy wanted a textured holster I don't know if that'll pull up very well or not but you do lose some of the texture when you do mold the firearm so but uh, it, it, it comes out quite well anyway uh, you can just check out uh, anything else on my website at horusholsters.com and I hope to be bringing a video soon of pretty much start to finish of how I make my holsters I'll have to cut it down to about 10 minutes because it is quite a long process but not a difficult one so if you can go to my website and just uh, leave a comment what you like what you don't like uh, let me know thanks a lot